first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto the Most High, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Raka Kodash, you know, and double honors to the apostles at GMS who teach us this word through the Spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, you know, to feed the elect, you know, throughout on the highways and the byways and through the internet, right? Now I have got a few scriptures to the uh, to the to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahshai to do this lesson concern a video clip here that the Africans wanna apologize for what they did, what their ancestors did in slavery. Right? So we will view the clip and we will bring out scriptures. We are very privileged to be with you, particularly our brothers and sisters from the Caribbean and the diaspora. And the people from all over Africa, our brothers and sisters from all over Africa. I wish at this point to particularly to apologize deeply on behalf of the chiefs and people of Gold Coast and Ghana for the atrocities, the cruelty, the inhuman treatment that were committed 400 years ago by my ancestors during the Atlantic slave trade where over 400 years ago, millions of our brothers and sisters were captured, sold, and transported under inhumane and cruel circumstances. Now, this is how these Africans just lie, right? Because you see millions of our brothers and sisters, and they know we wasn't the people. They know that. They know exactly. <clears throat> So like, yeah, they know exactly who they were selling, right? Because not because we seem dark skin like the Africans. We are Africans. We are not the same. We are Hebrew Israelites. So the Africans know exactly who they were selling. So it wasn't the same people selling the same people, right? And we will prove that in the lesson. You know, we will prove that that. It wasn't Africans selling Africans. It was Africans selling Negroes. Right? Because the Negroes, who are the Hebrews, they are not Africans. They are Israelites. So during the lesson, we will clarify that. So we'll have the proper understanding and know what really went on through history. Right? Because we will see the records in the Bible. Right? So we'll continue the video. Through Elmina Castle across to the Caribbean and to the New World. On behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, I do render unqualified apology deep from the bottom of our hearts. Deep from our bottom of our hearts. But one thing that I want you to be aware of, it was not without resistance. Some of our chiefs did fought and resisted. Some of our people did fought and resisted. But we are fighting a losing battle against a stronger army. People with guns, and we had no guns. They deceived us with liquor and all other temptations. Whatever the circumstances that led us to us, we stand here to render apology. And it's my wish and prayer that this apology 
is accepted. It's accepted yes. Yes. by our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. May the blood of Jesus assist us to overcome that evil that never yeah, the blood of Jesus, the, the so-called white man, yeah, he did assist you all. Right? He did assist you all. Right? For all your soulless, for guns and wine. Right? You all Africans. Right? So we don't believe your lies. We know it according to scriptures. Who we are and what's coming for you all. To know is judgment from the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yoshai is coming for you all. So we don't believe your your lies or your intention. Never again, never again should be witness Amen. this cruelty, this inhuman cruelty of man to man. Yeah, you all gonna witness this cruelty again. But it's gonna be with you all. So you all gonna see it. You all gonna see it. You all gonna see this cruelty. What happened to us? You all gonna see it happening to you all. And it's gonna be double time. What we get, what it did to us, you all gonna get it worse. Double portion. In this country. I thank you. And once again, on behalf of the chiefs, and people of Ghana, we do render this apology. And I ask my colleague to add a few words to what I have said to you. And it's my wish and prayer that in the name of the blood of Jesus, you do accept our apology. <laughs> Thank you very much. We stand here. We not accepting your apology because the most I don't want to hear all your apology. You all cut us booked. It's coming, right? So let me begin with the lesson. First, I want to start to show you that the Africans and the Negroes, which are the Hebrews, are two different people. They are not the same. This is the Zondavan Kopak Bible Dictionary. This is Ham, which is one of Noah's son. They say Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. So he became the progenitor, which is the father, that lineage from Ham. Right? And these are his children. Right? The Ethiopians, the Libyans, the Canaanites, and the Egyptians. Them came from that son. But you hear they say, not the Negroes. Who are the Negroes? The Hebrews. And what lineage them come from? Who is them progenitor? Right? Them came from the lineage of Shem. Right? Them came from the lineage of Shem, from our other son. So that is two different nations. They the most I separate the nations. Right? So we'll get that in. This is Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. He said, when the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bonds of the people, according to the number of the children of Israel, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Right? So the Most High divided nations, 18 nations in the Bible, the Most High divided nations. Right? Is this Exodus? Is an extra 
Friday Exodus 11 verse 7. He said, But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that he may know how that the Lord Yahweh Bashami was shy do it put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. So the Lord put a difference between the Egyptian and Israel. And as we now read in the Zondervan Compact Dictionary, Ham, who is he is the progenitor of who? The Libyans, the Canaanites, the Ethiopians, and the Egyptians. So you see the Lord put a difference between them and Israel. So not because we look alike and we, we same dark complexion. We is the same. We is not the same. And these heathens, these Africans, them know it too. Them know we is not the same. Right? And the scripture say a, a ox know it is owner. And an ass is, is master crib. But Israel do not know. They do not consider. Right? We want to call ourselves Africans and all these things. Eh? And these the true Africans not even calling themselves Africans. They just call themselves by the tribal name. But y'all Negroes, y'all Israelites want to call you all self Jamaicans, Americans, Trinidadians, Haitians. Y'all are Hebrew Israelites by birth, by bloodline. Israel is a people before a place. That's all their true nationality. Right? And these heathen, these so-called Afri these Africans and them here, they know who is the people. And them know who was selling. Don't let a fool y'all. Them know who they were selling. Them know exactly who they were selling. Right? And this, we talking about here, this event is actually recorded in the Bible. This is something true that was written and it come to pass. Right? So, we will begin with the first scripture. There is, there is Joel 3. Verse, I will start at verse 1. He said, For behold, in, in those days and in the time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Josephat. Which Josephat means a the valley of decision, the Lord judgment, and will plead with them. Therefore, my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nation and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. He say, Yea, and what have he to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, which are the Africans and all the coasts of Palestine? Will he render me a recompense? And if he recompense me swiftly and speedily, I will return your recompense upon your own head. Because he have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my godly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold unto the Grecians. Right, so you hear what the Mosai was referring to. He say, he say, O Tyre and Zidon, which are the Africans. Right, he said, the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have his soul unto the Grecians. So let's make it clear here that it wasn't Tyre and Zidon, which is the, Afri the, the Africans, selling Africans. They clearly show you who the soul, which are the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, have his soul Unto the Grecians, who are the Grecians today? The European, the so called white man. That he might remove them far from their borders. So it wasn't African selling Africans. It wasn't African selling their own people. This is biblical prophecy. They were selling the, the, the Negroes, the children of Israel. They who they sell. Right? 
it says Psalms 149 start at verse 5 he said let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this hour have all his saint praise he the Lord Yahweh Shai. So hey, these hidden nations judgment already written. Right? So it, it have no peace. Right? It had no mercy for them. It already written and no one could change it. Right? No one could change it. So they could apologize. And as Christianity say, God say love everybody and who shall call upon the name shall be saved. Hey, you all Christian just bugged out. Right? You all need to hey, read and try to understand. Right? These things already done. Ordained. Slavery for you all hedons. Judgment is coming. And we are uh, we we having patience and praying for that moment that your Abba Shem to come and destroy this kingdom, to destroy this wicked ass place, and set me on high. Right, put me back in rulership. Right. So verse forty-eight, he say he said to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. There is Isaiah 45 verse 14. He said, Thus said the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai, the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplications. This means they to beg unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else, there is no God. A hey, animal sign us, right? Joel 2 27. And he say, And he shall know that he is in the midst of Israel, and he shall be their God, and none else. He is the God of the Hebrew Israelites, and none else, right? So the most sign us. So then. Soon all you will see that power and say, Yes, surely hey. God is in all you. All your God is the true God. Right? There is Isaiah 14, verse 1. He say, For the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall join with them. And these strangers is not the heathen nations. These strangers are Israelites. Right? Shall join with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their, their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So they plain and simple. We're going to rule over our oppressors who had us captive. We're going to rule over them. Right? Verse 3 says, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Hey, from thou hard bondage we serve all your way. Lord coming here, we're gonna be at rest, at peace. No more sorrow, no more tears. Hey, that day go be glorious, boy. Hey, can't wait for that to be in the kingdom, boy. To rule over hey, our oppressors, to serve the Lord in righteousness. Right? You see, and he shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from the fear 
and from the hard bondage wherein thou was me to serve. Hey, we're gonna have a, a rest from that by all praises to your Basham, your shy boy. Hey, can't wait for this day, boy, just to give diligence and serve the Lord. Right? Keeping his spirit. All we have in this world is your Basham, your shy. You know, we just had to enjoy till the end. We soon out of this place. We soon gonna be lost over these heathens. As it once were. Alright. There is Revelation 13.10. He say, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with a sword. Here is the pinch, patient and faith of the saint. So it is plain and simple. And you Christians just want to say, you know, all you don't deal with the Old Testament, all you deal with the New Testament, there is some New Testament for your ass. There is what the Lord said. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And who lead us into captivity? The so-called white man. These Africans them sell us to the so-called white man. They lead us into captivity. And they must go into captivity. Thus said the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. And it's coming. It's coming soon. Right? There is Zephaniah 2 11. He said, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will vanish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. He said, He Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword. So the Ethiopians, which are the Africans, they're all going to be slain by the Mosai's sword. Right? Because you all had part, you all sell us to the so called white man. Right? You all oppress us too. And recompense is coming. Right? It's Jeremiah 30, verse 16. He said, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Hey, all will all they do. The nation of Israel, that you all kill us, you all lynch us. Hey, you all kill our babies, you all feed them to crocodiles. Yeah, the worst war they do to we, hey, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back double. Right? So, he said, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Every single one of you heathens going into captivity. Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Yehovah Basham Yahushai. Every single one of your heathen nation going into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Right? He said, For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Yeah, all will it do to we. You know that that, that pain or you know, that sorrow we had, hey, most are gonna heal us. Right? Said the Lord, because they call thee an outcast. Hey, and hey, even today, you also call Africans that say, all is the son of slaves. All you know who we is, boy. All you know who we are. That we are the most high chosen people. We are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. Right? You all just call me, all is the son of slaves, boy. Right? He says, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. He said, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling place, and the city shall be built upon her own heap, and the place shall remain after the manner thereof. Hey, so hey, the Most High gonna bring us back, back home into our land. Israel, right? And we're gonna uh, we're gonna rule over y'all. We're gonna rule over our oppressors.
Jeremiah 16 verse 8. He said, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sins double. So you hear what the Mosai say here? Yeah. He gonna recompense their iniquity and their sins double. So what you all did to us in slavery, you Africans, you so-called white man, you all you all hidden nations, what you all did to we, yeah, you all sins gonna be double. You all gonna get double portion. And we had it hard and still having it hard. So imagine what coming for you all. So you all prepare all yourself. You all max out all your credit card. You all go and party, drink, have fun. Because soon is hardcore slavery. Perpetual slavery. So all your have all your fun now. While the time still at hand. Have you all fun? Max out all your credit card. Live it up. Because it's soon going to end. That fun and that joy all you're having right now, it's soon going to end. Right? And it's into the brick pits. Into the brick pits is all you're going. Right? You say, because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with their carcasses of their detestable and abominable things all right the first maccabees 2 verse sat verse 67 he said take also unto you all those that observe the law and avenge he the wrong of your people hey all we all did to us coming right back at you all right Verse 68, he says, Recompense fully the heathen and take heed to the commandments of the Lord, of the law. Right? So we know a vengeance belongs to the Mosai. We will keep the commandments and have patience. You know, when the Lord put back that spirit on us and give you that spiritual power, we're going to destroy you nation, we're going to break you nations. Right? Because it's a right thing to do, it's a righteous thing. Right, for Second Thessalonians 1 6, he says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right, so it's a righteous thing. All you know as well, karma, payback. A righteous thing. The Mosai is a God of righteousness, God of recompense. And you're all going to get back what you did. Right, Deuteronomy 32 35. He said to me, belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Hey, and we see any time close. Right? We see in the signs. So we know it's due time. It's just a matter of time. Because this shit could kick off any time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. Hey, it's speed it coming. With speed right Jeremiah 51 19 he said a portion of Jacob is not like them hey so what we what we get it's not like what we're going to get we're going to get worse all you're going to see real hell perpetual hell for he is the former of all things and Israel is the rod of his inheritance the Lord of hosts is his name he said, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Hey, Exodus 15, 3, hey, the Mosai say he's a man of war. The Mosai going to use us. That's why we know a vengeance belonging to your Basham Yoshai. And we waiting patiently for the Mosai to give it our spiritual powers. Right? And put back that spirit on we. And use us eh, to destroy our enemies. So he's going to use us as his battle axe. As Jeremiah 6, 16, 16, he says, The Lord going to send for, for many hunters. They shall hunt them. We're going to hunt here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to jack you all heathens up. Thus said the Lord, your Basham, your Shai. Right? There's 
Nahum 1 verse 2. He said, God is jealous and the Lord revenge it. The Lord revenge it and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserve it wrath for his enemies. The Mosai reserve it wrath for his enemies. Hey. Uh, this thing, hey. Can't wait for this day. Praying to your Abba for we to keep strong and have patience. We have patience on the Lord. To see the day of our enemies fall. To see the day of our enemies fall. The most I pull we back over you all. Right? Soon, we'll get back what was rightfully ours. Right? So you all could, you all could pray, you all could apologize from now and then. Most I want to hear that he had burned it with vengeance, right? Even they that pierce him, they shall see him. He say he shall not meet thee as a man. So he ain't coming to hug you all up and and kiss you all and give all you a rose. No, coming to shed blood. He ain't coming to set no peace here. Right? So you're all crying for, for forgiveness and, and let bygones be bygones and want to set peace? No peace. Right? There is Matthew 10 34. He said, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So, and that sword represents destruction. So, uh, no peace. Right? No peace. The only peace will come is when all have been destroyed by death. And the I fix over this place, carry back home into our land, Israel. Right? And pull it over you all. You're all going to have a perpetual slave, slavery. Perpetual slaves. Hardcore bondage. Alright? So, you know, for, for the Akiyams out there, I hope this lesson was very fine. You know, for all the sincere brothers out there who push in the wood. You know, all your whole strong. We soon out of this bitch. Shalom.